Hi everybody, this is Oksana and I am super excited to show you my November favorites. And a little sad because I can't believe that it's already December. I feel like these past few months are going by so quickly. So let's jump right in. A little repetition here from um, last month. I'm still really loving the Organic Wear CC Cream and now the BB Cream as well. I just did a review on this. They're nearly identical except for this one smells like coconuts. So trying to use this one up, um, kind of using this a few times just so I could do that review and kind of compare the two, but mixing this with Lucy Minerals Snow White to get it a little lighter, better uh, color match for me. And this is the full size that I just bought. They had 25% off sale and so I decided to just go ahead and get the full size because I'm almost out of my little sample of the Snow White. So I can keep using it with this and then with this when I run out of the CC cream and that, I just love that. It's like my perfect foundation. It's quick, it's easy. I get good coverage from it. It's so hydrating and moisturizing for my dry skin. It looks so fresh and natural and dewy and just just love. <laughs> Foundation love. And then I don't have um, a ton of makeup makeup things. I will start with the makeup things and then I have some hair things which I don't think that I've ever really had hair favorites <laughs> that I remember so that's exciting and then I have a few food items as well um, since I seem to always do that in my favorites videos. So for um, makeup, here is something that is makeup related and that is the Silk Naturals new pressing medium called Great Impressions and this is a cute little uh, palette, little magnetic palette that you get from them if you buy the kit and not just the pressing medium. And these are some matte shades. This one I need to repress into rectangles like this. I want to press them all in rectangles so it'll, I don't know, fit all nicely and look all cute. But these are some matte um, eyeshadows. And if you're interested in what they are, um, this is Silk Naturals Code, Bone. Um, this one is Moss. This one is Latent. This is the Blonde, um, I forget, Dark Blonde or something, Brow Powder. And this one is the All Natural Face Black Forest. So just some mattes that I've pressed. And I love this pressing medium because now I can press matte shades. I don't have any mattes currently that I use that I have pressed. I have some shades. Silk Naturals has a few that are like really close to matte but not quite matte. And I was able to press those. Um, I forget. Oh, like Link. Link is one of those. It's nearly matte but it's not. And it was it pressed fine with the regular fractionated coconut oil like I usually do, but now I can press like real true mattes and so it's very exciting. And I haven't tried this yet with foundation, but I would imagine it would work for that as well since foundation is matte <laughs> for the most part. So yes, absolutely love that. Working on making a little matte palette for myself so I can start using that eyeshadows more. And then for um, a lip product, this lipstick in Vogue from Red Apple is amazing. I have been using it so, so much. Isn't that so gorgeous? I love it. And I wore this. We did some family portraits. We try to do them around the same time every year. We just go to like a, <laughs> the mall and go to JCPenney or something and get some photos done. So I wore Vogue in our family portrait. So you can see I really like it a lot. And now we are gonna move on to these hair items. Oh, I'm sorry, there's one more makeup thing. I forgot about this because this I really wanted to mention. This is a little sample of foundation. It is not necessarily a favorite of mine because I can't wear it because the color is too dark for me. However, I think this is an amazing foundation and this is the Beauty Wise Liquid Corrective Fluid Foundation. And if you just Google it, it'll come up, but I think the place I bought from is called Natural Solutions and I think their website is called like Be Well, Stay Well, something, something. And they have three shades of this foundation. This is an Australian brand and this looked to me like the lightest shade number 13 there's two other shades i was just looking at the pictures and they're all described as kind of something that would be too dark for me so i thought i would just give this a try um but this is what it looks like as you can see it is 
quite dark. It's way too dark for me, but I wanted to mention it in this favorites video because I think that it's an amazing foundation. And if this or any of the other colors happen to match you, um, then I think it's definitely worth giving it a try. It's really hard to find an all natural foundation, um, especially one with really good coverage. And this is a very heavy coverage, um, kind of a, I guess a matte, uh, finish liquid foundation. It's extremely pigmented. I did try this on my face, not on all of it, but just on like a little portion when I first got it just to see like if it looks nice on the skin, if it blends nice and stuff like that. And it did all those things. It was wonderful. It's just obviously the color is way too dark, but I did want to mention this uh, I obviously didn't want to dedicate a whole video <laughs> just to that since I wouldn't be able to really like demonstrate it on my face, but I wanted to mention it because, you know, maybe you are more tan than me and you're looking for a good coverage, heavy coverage foundation. I think it's great and worth a try. So now moving on to the hair things. I actually have four hair products here from the All Natural Face. And here they all are. And I don't do a whole lot with my hair um, ever since going natural it just kind of closed all the doors <laughs> on all those products that I used to use and I was like okay I'm just gonna use you know natural shampoo and conditioner I'm just gonna wipe this off of my hand but um, I found a shampoo and conditioner that worked well for me the coconut desert essence is what I use that conditioner especially is amazing it's the closest I found to non-natural but in terms of all these other hair products um i was using you know years and years ago when i was not natural in my hair care the frizz ease series this is a john frieda or something and it didn't really work particularly well for me so i figured well the natural stuff probably will work you know even less because it's hard to find natural products that can do some of the things that some of these man-made, you know, silicones and things can do to your hair. So I figured it's not even worth looking. And then uh, a little while ago, uh, maybe like a month or two ago, I placed an order with the All Natural Face and decided to try some of their hair products. And I will have a haul, a very belated haul video on that um, All Natural Face order. But there's a few things that were back ordered that I'm still waiting on. So I wanted to wait to have everything to actually do that haul for you. But here is what I've been using for the past month. The Magic Main Tamer Leave-In Conditioner and Detangler. And these are the small um, sizes. And then the Silky Tresses Vegan Hair Serum. And what I did at first is I would do a tiny bit of this with a tiny bit of this, um, you know, sp spread on my hands and just, I work it through soaking wet hair. So I just get a tiny, tiny bit because this is an oil. So you want to be really careful with this. You don't want to, you know, put a lot of oil in your hair. And if you have very fine, thin hair, I probably don't necessarily recommend it a ton because I feel like it weighs your hair down a little bit. But for me, it actually really works to my advantage because my hair is so like poofy and fluffy and very, very frizzy. It's naturally kind of curly slash wavy, not like the little curls, but just kind of <laughs> like that kind of curls. It's just weird. It doesn't, I can't wear it down curly because it curls in like all different directions and some of it like sticks up this way and some of it I don't know it just has mind of its own so you know you see me with it um, straightened I blow dry it straight this is blow dried straight today I actually use a different combination so this combination works really good um, just be careful of it weighing your hair down and only using a tiny bit on just soaking wet hair so it just spreads all over the place if you have you know really thick coarse hair I think you are going to love these so much it works so great and taming frizz and just makes my hair so soft and so smooth and so silky and another way I've used this is I've added a little bit of this oil to my shampoo I just it's a little spray bottle so I just sprayed a little in my hand just to kind of add 
the benefit of these oils. It's argan oil and some essential oils as well. Uh, broccoli seed, seed oil, I can't talk, which is supposed to be like the closest to silicones that you can find in nature. So um, to get the benefit of those, I added a little bit of it to my shampoo and tried it that way. And then um, tried adding this uh, leave-in to my regular conditioner and to just not washing it out like super thoroughly, but still washing it out. And that gives a very mild effect, like if you're really afraid of it weighing your hair down. And kind of use it that way um, but then recently I've been trying these other two products this is the aloe vera gel this is just is not specifically for hair but it is recommended for hair and she does have it listed in the hair section and this is the nourishing serum um, and shine hair pomade and this seems like it is a mix of these two not exactly but similar like this is an oil based product and this is aloe vera and glycerin and some essential oils and this is both it's got glycerin but then it's also got the argan oil um, it just doesn't have the aloe vera and it doesn't have all of the essential oils in here but um, what I did the past few times and I did this today is I did a little bit of aloe vera and a little bit of this serum pomade and I put that in wet hair and it actually gave a really good effect because my hair is not you know it's not weighed down I still have a lot of volume and a lot of that kind of poofiness but not too much but look at the frizzy situation it's significantly reduced because I normally would blow dry my hair the night before I want to film my video so that I can sleep on it and it kind of settles down overnight but I was able to do this this morning and my hair looks like it normally looks like the day after I wash it so it's incredible I absolutely love the all natural face hair products they just like I don't know it's like a whole new world of hair products for me I didn't think that I would be able to use hair products when I went natural like that actually did something to my super frizzy hair but these are wonderful I highly recommend them especially if you have the same you know hair woes as I do uh, but they are just wonderful I can't say enough good things about them and then the going into the food favorites I have some turmeric tea here from Numi turmeric is very very good for you it's good for inflammation uh, both you know internally and you can use it externally I know uh, Brianna I love Jesse 444 uses it on her uh, dermatitis and it really helps with the redness and the inflammation like she'll make a mask out of it which is wonderful and I was so excited when I saw that they have a tea made of turmeric and I snatched a couple of these right away snatch them up and it is a herbal tea so it's caffeine free this particular flavor is zesty lemon verbena and lime and the ingredients in Numi teas are incredible first of all they're organic and I've contacted them about the tea bags that they use because there's some chemicals that can be used with tea bags and some tea bags can actually be made out of plastic so you got all kinds of nasty chemicals leaching into your tea which is you know kind of counteracts the effect of the tea being healthy for you so this is a wonderful natural tea bag this is such pure wonderful ingredients it's just got the turmeric fair trade um, certified organic turmeric it's got organic lemon verbena and fair trade um, organic dried lime so no added flavors or fragrances or anything just basic herbs spices dried fruit that's what they use in their tea and it's just wonderful because even the natural flavors they're not necessarily all that natural they can be very processed and they can be made out of all kinds of weird things as long as it's found in nature um it can be called a natural flavor but in some cases it just it's all kinds of weird weirdness that you don't want um, in your uh, tea or food so this is just very basic very wonderful uh, product and I love the tea bags I'm gonna have to open one just to show you because this is wonderful so here's a little packet and of course if you can make tea from a loose just loose tea and get one of those little you know mesh thingies <laughs> so that you can steep it 
that is probably the, the best way to go about it. Then you avoid, you know, the whole bag and everything else deal um, altogether. But if you cannot, you know, or you're on the go and it's just easier for you to have tea bags, as I mentioned before, these ba bags are made out of very safe material. But then check out this string. It is just attached in the bag. It's right in the bag. There's no metal clip because that metal clip, um, for the most part, is made out of aluminum. So I think it's wonderful that they are starting to make their teas like this without the aluminum clip. Because, of course, we all know aluminum is not something that you want to put into your body. And I don't know how much of it leaches out by when you are steeping it in, in hot water, you know. So I know some of their teas that I own still have that clip, but I think they're phasing it out because some of the newer flavors like this are in bags like that. So that is a lot of information about that tea. Um, I also wanted to mention a few other food favorites that I don't actually physically have to show you here, but one of them is spaghetti squash. If you have never tried spaghetti squash, I highly recommend it. It is so good. I never thought of trying it because I don't really like squash <laughs> and I thought it's going to be kind of weird, but it is really surprisingly good. It's like this hard melon looking squash and it's really difficult to cut. Um, you need like an ax to chop it in half or <laughs> I suffer through it and cut it with like the biggest, strongest kitchen knife we have. Um, but I read that you can actually cook it whole. It just takes longer. But I've been cutting it in half and then placing both halves like face down. Uh, well, scooping out the seeds first, placing them half down on a cookie sheet um, and maybe putting a tiny bit of water on there and baking it. I forget the exact temperature, but if you just, you know, Google it, it'll come up. Like I followed just the first instructions that came up on Google and that's how I cooked it. And it's been working wonderfully. It ends up being kind of, it's soft once it's cooked and you scoop it out with a fork and it falls apart in these little threads, which look like little pieces of spaghetti. Not super long, but you know, like if you break your spaghetti up when you cook it, if you ever do that, so it's easier to pick up with a fork. Um, it basically ends up being like that, but it does have a little bit of that squash like sweetness to it, which can be a little odd because I personally don't like my pasta to be sweet. Um, I think it would be better in like an Asian style sauce. I do like sweet like Asian sauces like a sweet and sour or like orange kind of sauce so it'd be good with that because it would kind of go with it the sweetness of it but also it's very very mild i've been making a homemade alfredo sauce and using it with that um, and it works well with it and you can definitely use it with you know the traditional marinara sauce i just don't like um tomato sauces for whatever reason so i haven't been doing that but as long as it's a flavorful sauce and maybe you add some other things to it, some you know vegetables or meat if you eat it. You're not really gonna taste the squashiness that much because it's a pretty mild flavor. And the texture of it is very nice. It's not like mushy grossness. It's like a good texture, like kind of close to spaghetti, obviously not exactly like spaghetti. So it's a good substitute. It's been a good substitute uh, for pasta uh, for me and we've definitely enjoyed eating it and I really recommend it because of course it's healthy and it's a vegetable. And also if you're looking for something gluten-free to substitute for pasta, uh, definitely give it a try. I know there's a lot of like casserole and things you can bake with it as well. I even saw a recipe which I haven't tried for a coconut pie made with spaghetti squash, <laughs> which sounds interesting. Um, and that is it for all of my makeup and hair care and food favorites. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.